Hello everybody, Dave here again, Online Motorsports here in Plainfield, Illinois. What I'm going to do in this video for you today is uh, give you a brief walk around on our 1972 Olds Tornado. This car right now is uh, currently uh, listed on Bring a Trailer on an auction, which ends uh, Wednesday. Today is Monday. But uh, let's get started with the, with the walk around. Again, 72 Olds Tornado. Uh, this one is color is called sunfire or sunflower yellow. Now this car's had one repaint in its original color of sunflower yellow, and uh, if you see in the photos, the paint is magnificent on the car. Um, it's adorned with a uh, a saddle quarter top, which may or may not be an aftermarket item. I've seen these cars both ways with the quarter tops with the full vinyl tops or just the, full, the straight hard tops but i can tell you this we did have our interior and exterior dryer come in it had a little bit of color wash in it not bad but uh it is all uniform right now and, and just perfect uh, all the way around there's no rust bubbles that you normally would see uh, on, on these cars if they're left outside or not maintained properly but just a beautiful top as far as the body goes, laser straight. We've got a, uh, it's also adorned with uh, a, a sable pinstripe contrasting a lot of the body lines because this car's got a lot of sharp body lines. This is the uh, second generation Tornado uh, and the second year for it. And these were the front wheel drive versions. Uh, as far as powertrain goes, these, this one is powered by uh, the big block 455. It's, a, it's original numbers matching motor to the car automatic transmission uh, other items you're going to see and we'll get to the inside here in just a bit uh, but let's let's keep talking about the outside as far as the chrome on the car these w these bumpers are either have been re-chromed at one time because they're in just perfect shape or they are original to the car and the car has been babied all its life all the rocker panel trim that's stuff that's hard to find if you ever try to restore one of these things god forbid to try that because you'll be uh, you'll be on the internet for six or eight months trying to find all the pieces all that is in beautiful shape all the bright trim is in outstanding condition mirror chrome the car still wears all its original uh wire or standard wheel covers those are hubcaps those are not wheels but if you look again, all the chrome on this car is just impeccable. Chrome around your headlight bubbles. There's no pitting at all. So I would guess this stuff had been redone. And I can tell you this, it's, uh, it's not a cheap operation. You don't want, definitely don't want to get involved in that unless, uh, unless you, you definitely have to. I, w I, I wouldn't even go that way. But anyway, let's start on the inside. We've got a tan or putty type interior brown carpeting. As you can see, all the door cards are in excellent shape. We've got power windows there. This is the remote for the driver's side mirror. It does have dual mirrors, one on each side, uh, but it's equipped by power windows. Power band seat, tilt wheel. Now, there is no telescoping wheel. We had that question come up uh, today or yesterday on it. Just wanted to verify that. Uh, miles are 90, right at 98,400 and some change which is believed to be original on the car. As far as interior goes, excellent interior. Seats front and back are like new. Dash, no cracks at all on the dash. Headliner and your visors are in perfect, perfect condition. Sail panels as well. All the interior lights are working properly. Back package tray is like brand new. And we've got our uh, Shoulder harness belts up there for driver and passenger. I don't know if anybody actually used those much back in the day, but they are on the car. But just all around, a real nice car. Now, one change on the inside, uh, under previous ownership, there is a Pioneer AM FM CD mounted under dash, nice clean installation, nobody tore into the dash factory radio still sits right where it should be sitting nobody's hacked that up and tried to monkey something in there that shouldn't have been in there and look at that clock still working ticking away i'm not sure if timex made those or not or maybe it's a rolex still working 
Yeah, if it's a Rolex, it'd be out for service. Inside the glove box, impeccably clean, owner's manual. Oh, here we go, old Tornado maintenance uh, booklet. Does have a remote trunk pop on it. I'll give you a shot of that. Full size spare, all the jacking tools. Very nice, clean, organized. Still's got all its jacking instructions label on there. And uh, how to properly stow that thing back in once you get off the road and get your tire changed. Hopefully, next owner won't have to deal with that. But again, trim all the way around there. No dings, no dongs, no dents, no bangs. What we'll do, give me one second. Let me get around to the other side. I'll give you a shot of that little engine compartment. That's the steak and potatoes of this car. Now, like I mentioned before, this is the second generation uh, Tornado, so that means a second body style change. Uh, the first model year that had this body style was a 71. This is the second year. They made this car for a three year run, this body style. Um, under the hood, the original 455 big block V8. Who, who hates that? You can see you got a lot of room in the back here because of your, your front transaxle being a front wheel drive car. But if you look underneath here, all the stuff is basically the way it should be from the factory. Nobody's got in here and messed around and re-engineered under the hood, which we like to see. A few nice panel alignment, all the doors, hood, deck lid, and a superb paint job. I can't give this paint job enough kudos. Whoever painted this car spent a lot of time on it and a lot of money on product. There's just a lot of real estate here to cover with paint. So anyway, again, the auction ends Wednesday afternoon. Today is Monday, so we've got a couple more days to go. We'll be adding some more photos to the car. We're going to try to get it outside if the weather breaks to uh, give you folks uh, some natural light photos. But the car is... Again, laser straight, excellent paint, excellent interior, beautiful chrome and trim, big black engine. It's uh, really a turnkey car for the next lucky guy or girl that gets their hands on it. If anyone has any questions, just go right through the gallery, uh, or you can hit the contact seller button. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy to answer any question on the car. I'd be happy to talk to anybody by phone about the car if you need additional photos information don't hesitate we're here to help we're a uh, long time bat seller we've had a lot of listings so if you want to find out a little bit about us at online motorsports just click on our handle there that'll show you all the previous listings we've had in the past and uh, like I say any questions get with me and let's make it a great auction and don't let the other guy or girl drive off in your 72 Tornado